Hey, it's Annabelle on the Free M's and it's Finance Friday where I talk about my journey to getting a mortgage via getting paid. The unavoidable path. The minimum wage has gone up by what is it, nine pounds seventy two or something like that. I don't nine fifty and it? it was eight pounds seventy two, I think, gone up by nine fifty. <sighs> That's a good start. Um, I am no longer on universal credit and I am no longer allowed to do more than 12 hours maximum on minimum wage per week work and I have no idea what job to apply for that's going to be beneficial whilst being a full-time student after being rejected by Ryanair. Unsuccessful shall I say with a job application that was right for me when I was in a place that I could not call home in a London borough. I'm still in a London borough and I um, decided to pay for a spare room upgrade for a week. Um, I only got one telephone number as yet the person has not returned my call. I just haven't got a clue how to meet my target of off the 1st of next month which is the 1st of November 2021 to actually Noisy, isn't it? 1st of November 2021 is when I want to be out of the emergency slash temporary accommodation in a London council borough because there are no council properties or houses and association properties that have affordable rent for me to be a tenant of. So it's got to be shared accommodation in a house or a flat. Unfortunately, um, I declined the student accommodation because they wanted £750 off me before I've even viewed to place to see if my belongings will fit in there. And then on top of that, it's about three grand just for the first term. Wow. That is a hell of a lot of money for student accommodation. I had to respectfully, I think, decline. So that's where we are with shelter. Warmth is okay, I have. Heating, I have clothes that are warm enough. I have hot water. But I need to figure this out because I need an environment to be this full-time student on the way to the career as a columnist. I have some specific questions about columnists. Yes, I want to do it. I would do it for free, most definitely. But I want to know, do you get paid per word? Do you get a wage or a salary? This is, is if you are employee, not freelance. Don't think I've got that much gusto to gusto. I just don't think I've got that much to be freelance. But yeah, it is the career goal of mine. And as for the dream, oh my God, my two novels that are incomplete because of the style that I write in, I feel like I haven't, I'm grieving them. I feel like I have to say goodbye to them. I printed them out, put them in a binder. One of them I hole punched and the other I put in a plastic wallet. And I just feel like I have to say goodbye to them because I have no idea how to complete it based on the blurb, the synopsis, whatever you want to call it, I just, it's impossible. Those, I had my heart set on those. One I started in 2017 and the other start, I started in 2019. And I have an idea for a novel so that I could get the dream of getting a book deal by a literary agent and being published and having a huge amount of fans that enjoy reading my fiction novels and I'm gonna use the university social media course to I'm gonna use the university social social media course to see if I can generate some sort of an interest or some get, get some conversation start or just doing some research because I think to complete this novel it would be Ooh. in an opposite style that I, I'm used to writing 
creatively and there's a creative port creative writing portfolio part in the degree uh, the foundation year that I'm on and I just can't fight the urge to use the exercises the writing exercises with this idea of this novel of mine while I figure out how the hell am I going to complete the other two that I absolutely pas I'm passionate about I thoroughly enjoyed writing and that's where all my motivation lies with those two novels so I can't quite yet say goodbye to them <sighs> so yes I'm going to take advantage of term one I guess I finally have an ID card so I've been able to access the library which was fantastic but some of the books that I expected to assist me in producing assignments coursework whatever you want to say to a standard of level three are not there so it's definitely on the hunt to purchase those books this weekend Oh, 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 there's also a university fair, a UK university fair coming up tomorrow. So hopefully I've got enough energy tomorrow to rock on up there and see what else is on offer when it comes to a degree. Because I went to the Kingston University um, open day and it was fantastic. The room just screamed opulence where I sat and listened to a welcome talk. Oh, it would it just it just sparked my imagination off all I could think of is scholars in togas passionately debating on theories from that were developed within a, ancient history it was just, it's just beautifully designed oh, I won't share the picture as yet not this week anyway but beautiful room and the subject talk as well was fantastic it's got me so motivated because now i know what i can compare the other university courses with uh, degrees with i guess weigh it up but so far when it comes to studying creative writing kingston's winning we've got on offer i won't share that as yet as well i won't share that yet maybe further on in the on this journey to becoming a novelist and a columnist in a newspaper I, the newspaper i've got my heart set on is not hiring at the moment and i uh, this is new to me i'm not so sh i hate using that word i was going to uh, use a naughty word but i'm just not so sure of myself when it comes to getting a column space in a newspaper and presenting your opinions to a ready-made audience and possibly getting some feedback by letters and emails that would be fantastic call me a bit of a Carrie Bradshaw wannabe call me a bit of a black Madonna if you want to but I don't care I don't care I would be absolutely on fire and fulfilled and stoked <coughs> if that's the job that I managed to get <coughs> excuse me <sighs> sorry if that was the career I was about to embark on at times I feel like I can't ask the questions to the lecturers because <coughs> in my mind I believe a lecture is about sitting down shutting up listening taking notes but there are workshops involved <coughs> i am upset because uh, my student finance was delayed and um i couldn't buy the books at the end of a lecture to make sure i'm prepared for any assignments and coursework and all of that and to be on par with the rest of my fellow students in a discussion i've been lacking a little bit but I have some fantastic ideas that may become part of my reality as a student at UL. Now that I have an ID card, shall I show you it? 
Shall I say my God? Shall I? I don't know. 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 So yes, that's me. I now feel like an actual part, a student of UEL. I feel like I'm included now. There's a lot more I can do with this thing called student life. This thing called getting qualified. This thing called no blagging it and no winging it. This thing called factual. This thing called genuine. This thing called integrity that I'm moving forward with. And saying goodbye to those old job roles. I guess. I guess I'm saying goodbye to those old job roles. Any suggestions, guys, on what I can do 12 hours a week that is beneficial to my CV? A job that is beneficial to my CV when it comes to the career as a columnist. And how am I gonna get it together in the world of fiction novels? Share guys, share guys, share. We're all in this together as passionate writers. Maybe it's about time I start chairing or leading or organizing some groups off campus and on campus for people who are just like me, who are happy to share. I would happily share how I create a novel right now. I use real incidents and events and I put some fantasy on it so it is loosely based most of the time and it is fiction. That is how I create novels, especially the last two, the one in 2017 and the one in 2019 and I want to complete it but I feel a little bit isolated I feel a bit a little bit isolated in life so I don't see how it's gonna work and the location of the second novel <laughs> might be impossible it might be impossible it might be impossible it might be impossible I don't know and in the location of the first novel oh my god <sighs> and the intention of the first novel that I started in 2017 I don't want to change, I just don't want to change it, I just don't want to change it. There was purpose, but now I've decided that if I cannot complete the first novel that had an intention and a purpose, I'm going to have to try and do a book of poetry to complete that purpose or that goal or that mission with good intentions. That would be a collective effort, wouldn't it? But that, let's just, I'm going to take care of myself first. Because if you can't love yourself, you can't love nobody. If you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of nobody. That's what they say. And it, it is true. It is so, so true. So, guys, it's the free M's. I am Annabelle. Yes, it is Finance Friday. And have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you next week at the start of another free M's fantastic week. <laughs>